Well, it's either a good afternoon uh, from uh, Steve Manning and uh, Dave Parkinson here at uh, Lee Manor's Rangers at Twist Lane for the opening game, game one in the Barlow Three Counties Championship, where we've got double headers, where the under 19s play first, followed by the open age. And the opening game is Lancashire, uh, game one is Lancashire under 19s against Cumbria under 19s. Um, Lancashire are currently the uh, champions in fact they had a clean sweep last year so it's the first game as they try and defend their uh, title Dave and uh, I'll give the uh, Cumbria teams and if you want to give the Lancashire teams because you've probably got more of a better local knowledge of them than I have as oh. the teams come out to uh, line up yeah so the team's just about coming out and Lancashire line up at number one Adam Livesey of Lee Miners Rangers number two Ben Harper of Latchford number three Ollie Crompton of Lee Miners Rangers number four Rhys Story of Wigan St Jude's number five Sean Finlow of Oral St James number 6 Matty Ellis of Latchford number 7 Callum Coleman of Lee Miners Rangers there is definitely a hometown feel about this uh, side for Lancashire with Harry Darby captain in the side yeah. also from Lee Miners Rangers at 9 is Michael Cashin from Oldham St Anne's 10 Tom O'Loughlin from Sherrington Sharks 11 Sam Ayres from Saddleworth 12 Andrew Badrock from Lee Miners Rangers and 13 Kieran Taylor Oral St James if you want to run through the starting lineup for Cumbria and we'll name the substitutes together. Yeah, no worries with that, Dave. At full-back for Cymru, we've got Ethan Bickerdike from Millham. On the wings, we've got Elliot Babby from Walney Central and Kieran Fleming from Kells. The centres are Zach Steele from Ascombe and Evan Jones from Dalton. Half-backs are Jack Kellett from Hensingham and James Ennis at number six from Kells. The forwards at props, we've got Connor Terrell from Millham and his teammate Astin Mossop also from Millham. And Hawker is uh, Jacob Johnson from Lauka. In the second Second rows we've got Jack Stevenson from Dalton and Charlie Emsley from Millam and uh, loose four we've got Will Ennis from Kells and uh, the substitutes at uh, as such uh, for uh, Lancashire Dave. Yes, Joe Heaton from Hindley, Ryan Ellis from Oral St James, Connor Graney from Lee East and Charlie McCurry from Latchford. And for Cumbria it's uh, Shane Sanderson from Barrow Island, Carl Gardner from Kells, Brad Richardson from Dalton and And straight away, Lancashire charge forward with the skipper Harry Darby, 20 metres away from his own line. Ball's played and it's on the right-hand side with Kieran Taylor from Oral St James. He's had a really good season. He'll play on the 30-metre line. Ball comes to the middle, a couple of dummies. There he's being spread Got wide. A, a lot of pace out wide here for Lancashire. There's Ollie Crompton feeding it down to Ben Harper. Harper's just caught. Good defence when it came from Cumbria. Great tackle from Elliot Barbie. Lancashire continuing to cut forward, 20 metres away from the try line, taking it down the blind side, lives it, just caught by the defence, they jammed in well there, Jack Kellett leading the, ra the race there, as the kick comes in there from Matty Ellis, it's an angled one, well taken behind his own line and a 20 metre tap. Well, I've had a malfunction, the malfunction's right, so I'll try again. As Cumbria go for a quick tap, and it's a drive down centre field, a good set defensively. Now what are they show an attack? As uh, Jacob Johnson calming everybody down, and it's another scooter uh, for a matching half-back, but he's uh, well wrapped up, uh, involved in the tackle. is Matty Ellis uh, of Lancashire. Another quick play of the ball from uh, Johnson. Ball going down that left-hand side, and a good drive there. And they just short, or they just... Uh, Gone into uh, Lancashire territory now and they drive down the left-hand side through Will Ennis. But it's a three-man tackle that puts him, stops him in his track. And it's Johnson again, brings it out to open side now. And a drive from uh, Aston Mossop inside this uh, Lancashire territory. The first uh, set, not uh, trying to milk a penalty, but the uh, referee isn't having any of it. And it's a drive there and a pass there out to uh, Ennis. Ennis drives through the middle. Last tackle, 20 metres away centre field ball goes right and it's a little grubber but it's a superb take from Ollie Crompton uh, for uh, Lancashire but uh, not a bad looking attack but uh, Lancashire then get that ball going down that right hand side it's a drive and a bump off there's uh, three Cumbria lads in the tackle of the minute we get a bit of um, Les Apple in the background and Cashmere Dave well, yeah, yeah, it's a lively start to the game both uh, 
the, with the background music and also on the pitch. Still nil-nil, Lancashire pushing forward. Those Tom O'Loughlin, great forward. He's come through the under-17 system. Um, he actually toured Serbia as well in May. Well, that's great about the It's a pathway, isn't it, to uh, getting through this system with a view to getting international honours at the end of it, uh, which uh, will come uh, in uh, 2020. But that... Uh, this, I'm assuming this is going to be a seven tackle play I'm not I'm not sure but obviously uh, the kick wasn't wasn't the best there on that last tackle from yeah, Lancashire yeah I think he just overcooked it a little bit didn't he Callum Coleman it was the right sort of idea didn't or got too much behind it really so then Cumbria do, the forwards doing doing the work there I think that's uh, number 12 Charlie Emsley who uh, drove it forward and it's Jacob Johnson again ball coming right down this short sir. he's got his winger if he wants him there's a break on the right he's looking for him he's going for it and first of all he was a try saver and now he's a try maker Elliot Bobby he's in it's nil four for Cumbria the referee confirms it and uh, a beautiful attack down this right hand side and a well a well turned time pass by uh, his inside player Dave yeah it was a superb piece of play down the right hand side Ethan Bickerdyke using uh, using the winger uh, Bibby who ends up going in at the corner he's also improved the angle a little bit as well so I'm sure yeah. that his goal kicker will really appreciate that one but a uh, great play from Cumbria they dragged the defence in earlier on in the set there was a, a couple of big runs which came in from the likes of Charlie Elmsley and Conor Terrell and you know ultimately when the ball came wide they were do a dynamite, weren't they? Yeah, and uh, like I say, from try saver to try maker because uh, Lancashire on their last set they attacked down this left channel as uh, we are from our commentary position, and uh, they made a break down that left hand side, and it was Elliot Babby that put the tackle in the, the a certain try for Lancashire, and uh, it's uh, a well a welcome spirit then on the second tackle, and can they turn this four into six? He I'd say shanks it slightly from the outside of his boot so Jack Kellett doesn't put it over but uh, the moment it's uh, the visitors who uh, lead this game 4-0 and uh, it'll be interesting well they're going to get the ball back aren't they but it'll be interesting to see how uh, Lancashire respond first of all in, in defence and uh, what say get the ball that their hands on the ball Dave the other interesting aspect for me is that having seen Jack Kellett play for the um, the England Community Lions under 19s the other week he played at hooker so his role has changed he's now half back in this game uh, so I'm interested to see how he sort of goes and I didn't realise that he had goal kicking as a forte as well well I suppose he, uh, some of these fans might say he's not got that but uh, it, it was a wasn't the easiest it wasn't the hardest but it's 4-0 and it's uh, Charlie Emsley who uh, tried trapping that ball eventually did and drives it forward as Cumbria uh, Played a bit one man rugby. I think they brought one of their uh, backs there, helping the forwards out. And Jacob uh, Johnson clapping his hands, wanting a quick play. The ball and the ball goes left, and it's a drive forward as uh, three uh, Lancashire forwards come in. Tom O'Loughlin involved with that, as well as he's uh, Harry Darby. And uh, a great offload there from uh, Ennis keeping that ball alive down that left hand side. And interesting that we've got six and 13 for Cumbria, both twins, the Ellie the uh, Ennis brothers the Ennis brothers there's a line there isn't there but we'll not go down there yet uh, but uh, yeah tell you what though Cumbria going down the blinds anyway Lancashire have got the ball they take the bomb and uh, it'll be interesting to see how they can respond now this uh, first set after uh, that uh, try being uh, scored against them and there's three in the tackle and he's dumped to the ground unceremoniously as uh, uh, Michael Cashin puts that ball right it'll drive forward uh, from skipper Harry Darby as the uh, specks of rain begin to uh, plop along Dave I've got a I've got an odd balls out but that's not going to keep me dry is it there's a line there <laughs> And it's uh, Conor Terrell involved in that tackle. Last one for Lancashire. Just inside the uh, Cumbria half. Gets it out there to Ellis. Ellis with a left peg. It's a good kick. It's a good chase. A good th it's a good catch as well on that uh, far side from uh, Kieran Fleming of Kells. Uh, didn't they really settle themselves? Oh, they won a penalty too. I was going to say a mistake, but a penalty. So uh, that's a get out of jail as such. Um, Goes the kick. Most important thing is that he finds touch and he has. No, he's not. Ooh, that's a good. Well, I thought he'd uh, acrobatically kept it in play, but uh, the uh, 
Two studio on the far side said that it had gone dead, so... Uh, is that where the canal is? I'm really surprised that they're not tapping it and, and taking the balls going missing otherwise. Lancashire Territory and it's a drive for that's Aston again. Centre field. Yeah, well, we all know it's at any game. It's the pack have got to get on for up for oh, and uh, as a cut off pass there to um, uh, Bickers uh, to uh, Elliot Bobby didn't come off this time, did? But uh, yeah, if I were being critical, a bit in the tackle count, but they're on. Obviously, want to play expansive rugby, unlike uh, the Great Britain Lions uh, earlier on this morning. See some uh, some wide play there, and I thought yeah. that uh, Bicker Dyke maybe the wrong pass selection, but the right sort of idea. Yeah, yeah. Here's Lancashire attacking the base of the scrum, moving into dummy half now. Is Michael Cashin from Oldham St Anne's? He's got O'Loughlin for company to his left, but goes down the right hand side to Taylor. That's a good run from Taylor. Makes a good 15 meters. Cashin has some support out to his right. Takes it on himself. It's a good run forward by Cashin, and he's into the 20 metre line now. That is really, really swift play. Centre field as well, Dave. Here's Derby. Another big drive. Using big forwards, using quick play the balls and setting the position. Comes to the left hand side. O'Loughlin throws a dummy. He's got this in his locker. He dives forward. It's a great bit of footwork, and he scores. Well, that was a cracking try. That was made in the forwards. That wasn't it, Dave. And uh, Lancashire have responded how you'd expect the uh, current champions to respond as uh, they drove down that the, the middle and then sniffed that uh, they could get over. So a quick play of the ball. And as you say, uh, all Auckland went over uh, to score and make it even better from a, a Lancashire point of view. It's under the sticks and you would expect rightly or wrongly that uh, they had the extras. So I suppose the question mark is... Should Cumbria not have played expansive rugby, Dave, and gone for five and gone for a kick and chase? Uh, but because uh, uh, the bottom line is that uh, Lancashire responded in good style, haven't they? They certainly have. I mean, that was really good play. O'Loughlin had been sniffing around that middle, to be honest, earlier on in the set, and the ball didn't reach him. And when he took control, there was no stopping him. Yeah, yeah. He's also going to attempt the conversion as well, by the way, Steve. Well. Oh, rain's getting harder. Prop forwards, they can do everything these days, can't they? Create yeah, plays, I score tries. I just remember what they were classified as being or having, but uh, yeah, they, yeah, they're, uh, you can't beat the old ball playing forward of uh, years gone by. Right for a kick. Flags are raised. Six points to four in favour of Lancashire. As we readjust in the commentary position under this rain. Steve's reaching for the hat. And we're back to halfway with Lancashire just holding sway in this one by six points to four. We've been going for, what, ten and a half minutes? And already I think we've seen uh, some, some real good intent from both sides, haven't we, Steve? We have, and, that, and that's what it's all about. Uh, obviously, the opening game of any competition is important, and it's important that you win your home games. Uh, it, is a, it is a round-robin uh, scenario where... Uh, Next week, uh, Yorkshire uh, go up to Cumbria for their double header, which is going to be played at Millham, the oldest amateur rugby league ground in the country. But we're here now, at the here and now, as uh, some of the speckies are putting their umbrellas up as well, Dave. And going down the blind side. Big defence, though, in that, uh, that particular from Cumbria. The penalty that's not forthcoming comes back to the middle. Once again, it's Kieran Taylor with a yeah, yeah. Challenge. There's a scorer. Is it not? He's got numbers here. Oh, yes. It's a great tackle and he's helped out. Finished off by uh, Babby, the uh, try scorer earlier in the game. So Lancashire then going down this right hand side and they put this pressure into Paul oh, and he loses his, uh, he slips and he loses uh, his foot in there and uh, a let off for Cumbria there because there were numbers on that right hand side. So uh, 
got a bit of luck there now so they're going to have to come away from their own try line of the Cumbrian side drive forward three Lancastrians in their tackle there now going down this right hand side another drive forward by Cumbria and he hits and spins and he drives forward and uh, Lancashire trying to weak a mistake Cumbria trying to play safety first rugby and it's uh, it's uh, Emsley, I think that was again there driving forward. Johnson, Johnson ball goes left now. Cut off ball again to Babby. Babby cuts round his winger. He cuts his. Oh, that was a. Well, that warmed his ears. It did look a penalty and it was a penalty. Uh, Adam lives here. Uh, I think he, he's not going to get a book in. He's not going to get a warning. But I think that's one of them where they say, I took that for the team, uh, Dave. Yeah, it was a little bit of a little bit of a high shot that one, and uh, Cumbria now have the chance to attack. There's a bit of a patch up work being done in the background, but uh, Cumbria go on the charge through Elmsley, inside the 20 metre line he crosses, and I'll pass you back to Steve. So it's now turn for uh, Lanky. That looked like a little knock, and that was a poor one from the player. The ball as they go down that left hand side, keeping this ball wide. He's got his wing if he wants to use him, but he cuts inside, and uh, Johnson's third again at the acting half back as the rain starts tippling. Another drive forward, and I think that's it. Just Jack Stevenson there. He's wrapped up at about two or three metres, about from the line, uh, eight metres from the H's, and it's to uh, it's the scrum. Out. Oh, and that's a knock on, but a uh, little move there by James Ennison. Jack, uh, Jack Kelly comes to nothing, and uh, Lancashire's, I think it was number six, uh, Matty Ellis, who went for the intercept, but it's going to be Adam Food Scrum. Great position for Cumbria again to put this pressure on there. Yeah, and it could have been altogether all different, couldn't it? I bet on a dry track he would have took that and gone down the field, but uh, as it is, Cumbria applying all the pressure. Let's see if they can come up with anything at the end of this set, Steve. He's there, so the scrum, it comes out to the base, they go down the short side and uh, centre Zach Steele's coming in, where it's a cracking hit by Lancashire, trying to slow it down. Johnson puts it out to... Uh, the ever impressive Hemsley and Hemsley's gone over he's a, it's a cracking try Dave he's done the business good style there second tackle and uh, you've got to say the Cumbria I mean both packs have been good but the Cumbria Falls have been impressive on the going forward Dave but a great try yeah they certainly have and viewers in our league will recognise some of these names and some of these forwards because not only have they represented England at under 19s level they've also played in the uh, college final that was broadcast earlier this year uh, and that was one of them Elmsley who has represented Scotland really well over the last sort of three or four weeks uh, showing plenty of strength twisting and turning and getting through the challenges well, what we've said for years Dave is that to Cumbria is an area of talent and gets forgotten as such and uh, they've just showed from what you said uh, the pathway that some of these players have made that you know if, if, they, get, if they get a chance uh, they'll show it uh, unfortunately they normally go to the bigger fish i.e. the Super League clubs but uh, you know there's been some impressive stuff so far oh and he's well Kelly uh, misses that one I thought he'd have put that one over Dave but it's 8-6 uh, and I suppose the question now after all right, that were more kickable than the first one. It's cru kicks are crucial, and how crucial are them two misses going to be? Uh, well, yeah, I mean he's, uh, he, he's he seems to have found the same sort of range with both of those kicks, doesn't he? You know, he's he's put them wide of those posts, uh, the nearest up right. Uh, but yeah, the more important thing I think, as far as Cumbria are concerned, they'll be really pleased with the way that they've gone about their business in the first 15 minutes of this encounter, uh, and it's up to Lancashire to wrestle it back, isn't it? Yeah, the beauty is also that try came on the short side rather than the expansive side. I'm not saying it's Alice St. Helens grand final try against Salford, but I do recollect uh, the Saints scoring one down the short side, which was a bit controversial. Well, there was certainly nothing controversial about that one. Is uh, coming to get the ball from the restart, and it's important and imperative as Conor Tennell drives it forward that they complete the first set and uh, finishes off with a good kick again. But uh, the forwards are driving, trying to make headway. At, uh, Fair play to Lancashire there. Uh, Tom Lockley involved in that tackle there. And Johnson, Johnson gets it out there to uh, Astin Moss up. He's uh, stopped in his tracks. Going down the short side now. The far side there. Oh, that was a good intercept, really. Again, went for the cutout pass. Did uh, Cumbria just inside the uh, Lancashire half? And like I say, you've got to give credit the fact that they're trying to be expansive. But again, you know. Surely you play your sets out, Dave, and uh, go for the kick. 
Yeah, I would certainly agree with that, to be honest. I mean, uh, th these conditions not really conducive for open flowing rugby. It's going to be all about these inside plays as Livesey cuts forward. He was very good in the uh, international game that I saw uh, earlier on this month as the ball's swept down the left-hand side. It would have been last month now, by the way, into November. Brought down this left hand side, Ellie, straight to lives it. Lives it trying to wrong foot the defence, gets between two or three defenders. He's inside that 20 metre line. Ellis moves into dummy half now, and he'll scoop the ball to the right. He's kept moving by Cashin onto his skipper Derby. Good tackle, really good tackle. But uh, Lancashire knocking on the door in this set. The last tackle has been reached. Ball move right. Or Lachlan moves it. Carries on being moved wide. Oh, they have got numbers and they will cross. And it's a try over on that right hand side by Reese Story from Wigan St. Jude's. Oh, great score. Great response. Well, we've talked about the conditions and yeah, definitely, uh, you know, a great try in these conditions as such. And uh, again, it's great response. It's as if every time it's similar to that game last week, albeit at that stage, uh, Yorkshire had a commanding lead. And the second half, every time Cumbria scored, before they could try and get to a foothold in it, uh, Yorkshire had scored after a mistake from uh, the Cumbria <laughs> visitors. But this is a different game. This is a 19s, and uh, they just showed what an impressive team and what an impressive setup it is uh, that Lancashire have, who were uh, coached by uh, head coaches uh, Tom Wood, who was uh, head coach of the uh, winning trophy, winning laden season for Lee Miners Rangers under 18s uh, this year taking him to amongst other glories the Bala National Cup in a backs to the wall performance but uh, the backs have shown though that if they've got the ball they want to give it some air and it's all it's all Auckland can he uh, turn this six into uh, this four into six and to uh, double the points and take a 12-8 lead he hits it well and I wasn't sure what they're going to do then at flag wavers but they put it up and it is a converted try and it's uh, 12 points to uh, 8 and uh, Cumbria are going to be playing catch up again as they uh, come back to the halfway line waiting to uh, restart but, uh, Jacob Johnson getting his players going and it's going to be Jack Kelly waiting to restart once they've got a ball and even the referees are giving the description of ball and nobody wants to no, I'll not come out with that line, it might not sound right, but I just said that there's a ball back on the field. It goes on the tee, Kellett waiting to uh, punt it downfield. And she does this, a good spiralling bomb kick as well, that. It's uh, well taken of the uh, Lancashire now come trundling back, but they run into a, a triple Cumbria brick wall, but they make good movement, go down that right-hand side, and it's... Uh, that man, uh, oh, Lachlan again, getting through a hell of a lot of work. Uh, it's the prop. Ball now coming inside. A little run and a jump forward from Lancashire, making good ground. But uh, Cumbria, well in the tackle. Uh, Jack Stevenson involved in that one. Coming down this left-hand side, and it's out to Kieran Taylor. Who drives a cracking 15, 20 metre drive there into Cumbria territory. Centre field. Ball goes left. And it's a charge down, but it's a bit another set of six. It's a, it was a number 12, uh, Elmsley, who charged it down, but it was uh, picked up there by uh, Matty Ellis. And it's another set of six, and back to back. Cumbria now going to have to defend well here. Elmsley involved in that tackle. And the ball goes right there, and it's uh, uh, all Auckland again. He got Ellis uh, on his outside, and now it's a uh, referee. I've got to say at the moment he's, he's, he's seeing everything he's given everything what you'd expect at high tackle but he's going to put Lancashire in a great position now Dave yeah good call by the referee to be honest and uh, he's having a, a good game as well we're settling into a pattern now aren't we and it's going to be a case of who can punish their opposition more when they're in the right sort of territory so Lancashire charging forward it's that man Taylor who's been outstanding in the first 20 minutes by the way he's put down inside that 20 metre line Cashin's at dummy half he's got options left and right it's brought down this left hand side short run comes in there not much progress gained good defence from Elmsy once again Cashin moves it right there's that man Taylor five metres away from the try line Cashin has options 
Ellis calls for it, gets it on the right hand side, it's moved further wide to Coleman, Coleman throws a dummy, tries to take on the line, they've stood him up well there, and Cumbria, the defence is creaking, but it's holding at the minute, let's see if they can hold them up, well, everything being stretched, great offload coming out to Coleman, Coleman down the right hand side, feeds it out, oh they are going to dive in at the corner, good try down that far side by Sean Finlow from Oral St James, and it's a perfect response once again from Lancashire. Yeah, not going to be incredibly boring, Dave. Uh, I think Jermaine McGill should be watching that, shouldn't he? Uh, after uh, what he did when uh, the GB Lions were in with a chance of uh, getting victory in the closing minutes uh, earlier on this morning. But that was a, a superb try. He took it well, went in at the corner. And uh, as it were, uh, Cumbria paid the penalty there. As it were, Lancashire uh, got the ball. Well, they got the back-to-back -back set, didn't they, when they tried getting the charge down through... Um, Charlie Emsley and then they got the penalty and uh, they were looked as if they were stood up at one stage but uh, they got it out wide on that right channel and uh, it's a beautiful ball created that try from uh, Callum Coleman Dave. Yeah I'm not sure how much uh, Elmsley would have realised about the charge down to be honest because he, he sort of put the arms up and it just went anywhere and right back into Ellis but like she's not complaining making the most of it and this is the most difficult attempt to date on goal as far as O'Loughlin is concerned difficult enough when it's dry never mind when it's wet on the foot like it is now so in he steps right footed sends it goal has he got enough behind it no he hasn't so the scoreline remains Lancashire 16 Cumbria 8 yeah, it's an 8 point uh, ball game at the moment then as uh, Cumbria come back to restart they uh, had these uh, three tries against them uh, as it were they have played some good stuff but you've got to say at the moment uh, the uh, Lancashire attack looks pretty slick uh, uh, at this moment in time Kelly, it's a nice spiralling bomb it's not as lengthy as the other oh, they let it bounce to Lancashire and Cumbria pick it up uh, put the old rugby union there and uh, the old bouncing ball but Cumbria then this is a Great get out of jail for them, they thought they'd be defending and now they're attacking with about, what, 15 metres away. Jacob Johnson lances to his right and the ball goes right and that's Jack Stevenson driving it forward. Three in the tackle and uh, Conor Green is on off the uh, Sills bench for Lancashire. Ball going right. Beautiful ball and they lost that ball there and uh, it was uh, Aaron Turnbull couldn't take that ball. Have we got that on the crash? We could have had another try, Dave. Yeah, chance lost. I thought they were building that play really well, to be honest, Cumbria. They uh, did well to win the ball back, first of all, from the restart. Evan Jones, it was, who got to it. And then they just built and built that set, didn't they? And unfortunately, the ball being put down by Turnbull. The Hensingham Young still be hoping that he's handling. He's a bit more sure if he gets another opportunity. So Lancashire then, they're going to build from uh, that, uh, that attack from uh, Cumbria. And it's Graney who... Uh, like I say, he, uh, he's just come on uh, off the bench and he drives forward and uh, no longer will be able to see his number, will only time will tell. But uh, interference at the play of the ball and uh, I've got to say, uh, this referee, is, is, is what he's wanting is, because of the condition, he's a uh, quick play of the balls, attacking play and none of this mauling about at the uh, scrum, at the uh, play of the ball there. Yeah, definitely, he's made a great start to the game. What a first carry that was from uh, Conor Graney. Lad from uh, local to here, the east just over the canal. And uh, Lancashire on the attack, playing the ball just behind halfway. There's Graney, big charge forward, huge charge forward from him. He'll play this ball to Ellis. Ellis is an option right, Coleman drops it back over his shoulder. They'll continue to crash their way forward here, Lancashire, and they're approaching the 20 metre line, Steve. So can Cumbria keep him out as it's a drive forward, a great offload there to Ryan Ellis. And uh, the centre field, again about 15 metres away, how good is this Cumbria defence? And that ball goes out to Coleman. Coleman gets that out to number 12, I think that was it. Sam Ayres, who's uh, tackled and stopped and distract. Last one, it's important that Cumbria keep him out here. Ball goes right to Coleman. Crossfield bomb. Said well taken. But... Uh, Great defence from uh, Cumbria, one on one initially, but he was uh, finished off on that far side out by Evan uh, Jones and uh, Kitty and Kieran Fleming did the business there, uh, because 
it's looked well lethal down that right hand side on the Lancashire attack yeah Fleming's having a busy afternoon isn't he you know he's done well there and uh, a lot of good communication there between him and his centre Evan Jones now Cumbria trying to clear their lines this is that man Turnbull who spilled the opportunity before trying to do the business inside his own 20 and drive Cumbria to more positive field position but tackles like that are going to restrict their movement yeah they are uh, Lancashire is certainly up for this the, uh, the current champions as that ball goes to Emsley and Emsley drives forward and he's it top middle and bottom good style there it's uh, oh and the Cumbria have lost it again referee waves play on and uh, it's a bad mistake I think that came from Will Ennis I think can Lancashire take advantage of uh, that he's uh, there's no advantage from that knock on so Lancashire are going to get the scrum head and field inside the Cumbria half centre field and uh, this going to present and pose danger for the visitors uh, the hosts have got over that uh, early shock when they went 4-0 uh, down and it's uh, substitute Joe Heaton who feeds it gets it out to Colvin and he bets that ball out there to his fullback Lindsay who joins the attack but he's uh, wrapped up there by Connor Terrell and Evan Jones on that uh, right channel ball comes inside Coleman Coleman offers it to to Grady he certainly made his presence felt in the short time that he's been on the field good tactical substitution that is that ball comes left now Coleman puts a flat ball out there and it's uh, well wrapped up as uh, Cumbria having to hold out there they're driving forward again I think that's uh, Keelan Taylor again driving forward as the uh, she come off Coleman. Oh, that's a beautiful ball there to Ollie Crompton, but it's well wrapped up. Last one can Cumbria all out as uh, play the ball there. It's a little grubber, uh, it's a little chip grubber, Joe Eaton, but it finds the uh, Cumbria forwards, and that's a bit let off for them there. And we're getting a double substitution from Cumbria with Shane Sanderson and Brad Richards is coming on. And it's not surprising with some of the tackling that uh, these guys have had to do. Uh, since uh, Lancashire have woke up after being behind early doors another drive that's a crack in it by uh, number 14 jo Joe Eaton As Amsley drives it forward last tackle well, we've got to put a kick in and how good's the chase going to be ball goes left and it's the left peg it's not a bad kick it bounces but it's uh, picked up by uh, the winger uh, Ben Harper but there's three in the tackle, Babby's involved in the tackle, well, and uh, Zach Steele. So the ball goes right, as uh, Oli Crompton drives it forward. Two involved with uh, Ellis, an acting half-back at the moment, as uh, the changes have been run. Didn't make much progress there, didn't Lancashire? But it's uh, Ellis again, glancing to his left, glancing to his right, the ball goes right. And, uh, that looked like obstruction to me the referee says no he made his decision decisively to say the least that looked like a knocker but referee says play on and it's a drive forward from Ryan Ellis last one Coleman steps off his right it's a little chip into space but it's well taken by uh, Cumbria and uh, it's a chance now to uh, make some waves and get back upfield it's end to end as the rain gets worse and uh, perhaps it's the conditions as much that uh, saw Bickerdike uh, lose that ball early in the tackle count and uh, now they've got to start defending again Dave and the question is can this defence hold out well, that is the $64,000 question that isn't it Steve I think that uh, the rocking at the moment Cumbria uh, Lancashire are looking quite lively it's interesting to note that Joe Heaton uh, has come on at half back and he's lives here. he's been lively around the middle of the field as well hasn't he the uh, community Lions full back he'll play this ball 20 metres away from the try line ball switched to the left with Ryan Ellis Oral St James product another one he's on the edge of that 20 metre line plays it to namesake Matty ball on this left hand side or oh, just forward pass so uh, I was wondering whether or not they'd be able to hold and certainly the Cumbrian defence has held they have day but uh, from a 
from a Lancashire point of view, you know, forward pass on second tackle. I know they try to move forward, but uh, again, you know, it's the weather now. They've got the lead, you know, perhaps should have played the five and then gone for the move. Anyway, uh, it doesn't matter because Cumbria have got the ball and they're driving forward now, trying to get some points back and uh, cut this eight point lead down. Win down that left hand side, little jinking run, but uh, Lancashire putting three tackle three players in the tackle jacob johnson ball goes out there to uh, number 17 aaron turnbull with the protective headgear on it's johnson again going down that to short side but uh, lancashire are switched on and coleman uh, involved in that tackle as well so i don't have influence on this game for lancashire to continue down the short side and it's a drive forward still going is uh Evan Jones and he's wrapped up though about what 35 metres away from the Lancashire line Kellett it's a spiralling bomb oh and he knocks on can come oh I thought it he's give the knock on I, well, I thought it'll let that one develop there Dave but you know they had the slight advantage because I'm not saying that they'd have scored but they're in a better position than they are now Dave it was a great kick, you've got to pay testimony to that. Uh, it went up in the air from uh, Ennis, it, it got plenty of height on it. There's a real chance here for Cumbria. Referee not happy with how the two packs got down to business. Uh, Lancashire have made another change with Charlie McCurry going on. He's from the Latchford Albion Club, play first team this season as well as they switch it down the left hand side here. Cumbria approaching the try line with Menis. Five metres away, five metres in from touch. We picked up out of dummy half and sent into the middle. This is that man Stevenson, centre in the move. Five metres out from the try line. Johnson is buzzing from dummy half. Switches it left. Big charge comes in. I'll tell you what, they'll do well to hold him up there. That's a superb challenge coming in there. Johnson will move it right. Ennis through hands. Good chance for Kelly. He then feeds it off for Brad Richards. Richards goes try line bound, but he's two metres out from the line. And picked up out of dummy half. Have they managed to cross the way over? No, they haven't. It's good defence. Richards picks it up, goes again. And he has got in. I think this time the referee retreats to the back line and points to the spot. So that's a try out of dummy half for Brad Richards. I think the old line is if you don't succeed, try, try, try again. And uh, Cumbria certainly did that. They took advantage of that uh, mistake uh, from the bomb that. Uh, Lancashire couldn't take and from the scrum they often puff wet down there and it was Brad Richards who had a chance a couple of tackles back from that but uh, Lancashire held firm but uh, on that tackle there it was uh, Richards who went over for it and we've got a change of kicker as uh, Zach Steele's uh, lining this one up it's in a similar position to where the uh, second uh, conversion was attempted I think really just needs to compose himself and take his time here as a uh, Cumbria trying to cut the lead down to just two points. They scored three unconverted tries at the moment. It's 16 points to 12. Walks backward a few steps. It loops where he's going. Spits out uh, his adrenaline. Lines up. Oh, and he shanked it to the right hand side again. It's. I don't know whether he's got. I don't know whether he's bothered Kelly's boots or not. But it's a carbon copy of uh, that last one. But uh, well instead of it being a two-point ball game it's a four-point ball game and uh, I think it could Cumbria be more on the fact of uh, the kicker Dave uh, in the big picture of things well, at the moment it's old Lachlan that separates the sides isn't it with these two successful goals so uh, but yeah I think ultimately uh, Cumbria will be quite happy with the work they've done uh, especially in the last sort of four or five minutes they were under a bit of pressure and they've advanced themselves downfield come up with a try off the back of it and uh, maybe they're heading into half time thinking that they can go even uh, even closer in this game well there's still a little bit of time as that ball bounces when it bounces in goal and gets uh, taken by a uh, by Cumbria who uh, drive it forward and we've got floodlights here I think we're going up floodlights on Dave a lot earlier than we would have expected at the moment uh, but uh, as it goes darker and the rain continues to uh, come down as such but Cumbria just getting on with it Jacobs gets that ball Jacob Johnson gets that ball out down that channel 
Lancashire putting the tackles in. Going down that short side again, which they're trying to exploit, and they've exploited it quite well to date. Ball goes right now. And it's uh, number 17, Aaron Turnbull, driving it forward. Side Lancashire territory. Last tackle, wanted a quick play the ball. He didn't get it. Trying to milk a penalty. Steps over the player. Well, I'm assuming he's... Has he done him for trying to milk a penalty there, Dave? Because if he has fair play to him. Well, no, he's moved off the mark. He's, he's actually got up and rather than playing it there, he stepped forward and tried to play it over the man. So you can't do that. He can't play. He can't put the ball on the man, though, Dave. He's in control of that situation, though, so I'm fully with the referee on this occasion. <laughs> OK, all right, that's me too, then. Well, I don't agree with uh, Dave's, de Dave's, Dave's decision, but why would I? Anyway, uh, the bottom line is uh, Lancashire have got the ball instead of Cumbria paying uh, the, the play the ball. And it's a great break on that tip far side by Joe Eaton. And uh, he somehow offloaded that, and then the ball's come loose. Uh, and, and I'd like to say if I'm right, we're reading this right, Dave, that's going to be a Cumbria um, knock on. And, and, uh, can you concur? I, I'm, su I'm surprised you didn't say that's justice. That's what usually no, happens in these bit. games. I'm not, I'm not bitter, Dave. I just didn't agree with that last decision. <laughs> uh, it's head and feet to Cumbria anyway, so a real chance for them uh, to get their hands on the ball just before this uh, half time whistle. We're in the hands of the referee, of course, and uh, they'll drive forward from deep. So Cumbria then, can they uh, have the last word in this uh, first half? It's been a cracking game, four points in it as uh, the Cumbria forwards drive forward and Coleman's involved with uh, Reece Story and I think it was uh, number 10, Tom O'Loughlin in that triple tackle. Great ball on the crash, he took that well really but he didn't make any uh, movement there and uh, he's just finished off uh, there in the tackle by Reece Story. Ball goes right, another drive fall. Oh, that was a cracking hit, that. And he comes back for more. You've got to say, these uh, under 19s, they're brave. I mean, predominantly, a lot of them are on 18, but uh, some brave shots there. And that's that Emsley. He's, uh, he's been impressive throughout a good offload. Now there's a chance on going down this short side, and it's a drive forward this time from Zach Still. Last tackle inside this Cumbria half. Cumbria looking for a quick play of the ball. Down this short side. Now he's got numbers, but he checks it, does Kelly on. He took the tackle, but perhaps uh, that's when you put the little grubber into the corner, Dave. Got to say, though, you've got to compliment the Lancashire defence there. I mean, they were they were stripped for numbers down this side, and yet Heaton just held his line, held his nerve, and came up with the stop, and uh, it's a good turnover to win that for, for Lancashire. Well, you're right, Dave, as uh, Lancashire attacking uh, from inside their own half. And a drive forward for a Murmur Curry who must have just come on because his shirt's clean <laughs> as uh, Earl Lachlan drives down to Earl Lachlan centre field and uh, about eight short of the halfway line and it's another drive forward from Lancashire three Cumbria players involved in the tackle including uh, number 15 Carl Garner ball goes on that right hand side flick ball inside oh there's a chance here that's Livesey Livesey gets through three he's got a foot he's got what oh brilliant selfish play brilliant play by Lancashire and uh, I think that's Livesey who scored that one and I think his interplay was with uh, with, with Coleman and uh, brilliant handling Dave Oh, it was right out of the top draw, wasn't it? They worked the space superbly. Livesey has shown his pace on a number of occasions in this uh, first half. And when you consider the conditions as well, uh, you know, it's a, it's a grotty day. It's uh, murky, it's muddy underfoot. And they showed real fleet of foot there, Lancashire, and some good awareness and real unselfish play. Great try for Livesey. Well, from Livesey's point of view, before he scored it, I was going to say how unselfish Livesey had been passing the ball out to, to Coleman. And then Coleman does the same as such unselfishly passes it to uh, Livesey uh, who uh, went in under the sticks and uh, we talk about uh, conversions uh, being important and I think the bottom line here is that uh, this is in front of the sticks it should be a six pointer and uh, whereas Cumbria have struggled at least from a Lancashire point of view they've been to put up put over the important uh, kicks when they mattered and uh, you'd expect all Lachlan uh, to put this between the H's yeah, there's actually a change in goal kick here as the uh, Heaton adds it on. Flag's raised, and it means that we go to the break with Lancashire, 22 points to 12 at the good. And to think that about three or four minutes ago, I was questioning whether it could have been Cumbria who would have gone in level, because they were knocking on the door for a little while there, weren't they, Steve? 
they were and what you've got to think about now they always go on about tries being scored at the end of the half how, how, how psychological will that be in relation to Cumbria they played well they played some good stuff but then to give that try away but what a cracking try it was at the end of the day from Lancashire but it's all about now they've got to be the next try scorers as I think we'll, we'll both agree because otherwise Lancashire could uh, perhaps run away with this in the second half I think given the conditions as well being treated a to a, a really good game yeah you know you know, it's all right for us. We're still here watching out with sort of thing, and we can't appreciate what these players are doing and what the coaches have put into their heads. But uh, co- the conditions and the ball handling have been superb, and uh, people are asking where all these play- you know, where all these players come from, and a lot of them come from these competitions. And uh, you know, it's a great start, a great opening at half for the current champions at Lancashire. Well, I was I was chatting to Kevin Johnson beforehand, and he was saying that from the under 17s and the under 19s, Bar the Three Counties Championship, you've only got to look in the in the current Wigan first team, for example. Lads like Liam Byrne came from this sort of arena, uh, and also uh, also Liam Marshall as well. Well, yeah, I mean, I remember watching Liam Marshall um, playing for Lancashire under 16s. It was, and they were playing against. Uh, Wales under 16s and, uh, and that, that was the first time I ever had the glance of uh, Wales superstar Reagan Grace uh, as he defended his line he scored two from one under his own sticks and then he scored one outside his own try line a good 100 metre try and who was he up against that day he was up against Liam Marshall not many people know that but uh, you know and it just showed you and again he showed his pace then, and you tend to look at a you tend to look at a team sheet or a programme set who was that and uh, I did the same when he went to St Helens when he first started playing for the academy and I'm thinking I've seen him somewhere before and uh, he's gone on to greater glories although I do know that uh, Wigan had first dabs at him at, uh, before he went to St Helens and uh, allegedly a coach said that he can't catch a ball and some of the scouts were absolutely apoplectic at that because you can teach somebody to catch the ball but as we all know you can't teach speed yeah, and the other thing with Regan Grace, he's uh, got through to the uh, the grand final of the Checker Trade uh, Checker Trade try of the season that he's currently running on our league as well. So uh, he, he's had a tremendous year. So that's a nice little link up there. Um, back on this game, 22 points to 12 at half time. It was all looking really good after four minutes for Cumbria uh, when Bibby scored. Uh, O'Loughlin responded for Lancashire with a try and conversion after 10 minutes. Charlie Elmsley put uh, Cumbria back in front at 8 points to 6 on 14 minutes before a really nice movement down the right hand side saw Reece Story pierce the defence, the Wigan St Jude's centre going in. Uh, that was also a goal for a 12 points to 8 advantage. We then saw, again, a really smart finish in that top right corner from Sean Findlow and uh, that went unconverted. Brad Richards responded after I kind of like keep persevering keep doing what you're doing and it'll eventually come right and it certainly did for Cumbria on that occasion that made it 16 points to 12 sadly as far as they're concerned they've not been able to find a goal kicker to get the ball between the H's and uh, Lancaster scoring that final try which plays conditions so 22 points to 12 great half and there's more to come in the second half so stay tuned just a few seconds away from the start of this second half but I always like this time of year because you get to pay tribute to teams like Latchford Albion who have really lowered their average age <coughs> of their first team this season they brought a lot of these lads through they're being rewarded with three of them in the Lancashire under 19s today and then you look at the amount of Millen players that are in the Cumbria ranks I mean that is it's great testament isn't it it is and uh, you know we've been talking about how Cumbria started in that the fact that uh, you know the the source and wealth of talent there is uh, is anybody's business and uh, we're seeing them on uh, on show today i saw the 17s on show last week as i'm sure some of our viewers did but this is like what happens when you uh, go up a couple of ages uh, dave and uh, we'll just see what happens with these well both, both squads it's a testament the bottom line to the coach and the planning that goes into it look at Elmsley, he's already been patched up what a, he's a warrior he is and what she is a teddy but you in Italy when we drew nil nil. A lot of our younger viewers won't re- understand what you're talking about though. I know, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Have a look on YouTube ladies and gentlemen. There's Cumbria uh, driving down this line and it's a good cut off ball to it. Stevens from uh, James Ennis but it's last tackle. Ennis, Ennis, little chip over. Oh I like that. I like little this Little grubber, oh yeah. Oh, well. 
it didn't work, quite work out for him, Dave, but what a bit of inventive play at the beginning of this second half. Uh, I once worked with another commentator who would describe that when the ball going dead like that as we nearly get taken out by an umbrella. So we'll go I had nearly got two cough by this red and white umbrella. <laughs> I'm glad I'm tall. <laughs> Uh, you have the touch look at our point look at our point on it Dave you have the touch <laughs> of a baby elephant <laughs> sorry go on, go on anyway Lancashire on the attack <laughs> moving forward his own Lachlan bouncing through a couple of challenges eventually wrapped up he's still going forward did this really well on the tour to Serbia was often surrounded by bigger players uh, carry on carrying the battle in Lancashire making best use of this at the moment pushing their way into an attacking position it comes to Ellis, he slings it wide, here's Coleman taking on the line, dances past a couple, Elms is there to cut him off at the pass. I think, he, I think he did well there because he just dodged an obstruction I think there nearly with uh, Sam Ers, Dave. He brought down this right hand side, kick goes in over the top from Ayres, he'll bounce it a bobble, Bickerdyke takes it, drives it in, gains 10 metres. So Cumbria then, uh, can they do what they just did uh, as uh, Bickerdyke gets that ball? Ball goes right, a little angled run, and it's uh, Kieran Fleming helping his forwards out, but uh, three put him down as Jacob Johnson uh, goes to acting half back. Ball goes right to that man, Emsley again. But he loses the ball, but he's had a cracking game. But he's always, he's, although it's a bad mistake from Cumbria, he's always made himself available, hasn't he, Dave? He, he has, but I think we're, we're underdoing that hit that came his way by Ayers. It was a cracking tackle, really. Well, we could hear it from Ayers, so hopefully they got it on. Uh, on air there, the, the, the ferocity of that. But, uh, chance here for Lancashire at the start of this second half. Well, it's crucial Cumbria all out at this next set of six. Lives in with the first carry. Cashing's back on. He'll scoot the ball left. Grainy sets his stall out for the drive. Good, good tackle. tackle. Said that in stereo then, Steve. It must have been a good one then. Lancashire bringing the ball to the right hand side. Call him numbers. Lindsay, in. Lindsay, Lindsay for his second, and he stretches over to score. Great response from Lancashire. Well, that was an absolutely uh, fantastic try. Brilliant running rugby from the uh, Lancashire backs and uh, the half backs uh, taking part in that. But it all come that on a relation to that hit where uh, Cumbria lost the ball. And uh, at this moment in time, Lanc Lancashire, they had the final word in the first half and they've had the opening word in the second half. And it's now going to be uh, a tall order, as it were, for the uh, visitors to come back in this game, although they have still got the potential. It's early in this second half, but it was a cracking try. Livesey timed his run to perfection and just drove through. There was no way that when he's going to drop that ball, there was no way that he was going to lose it. So it's... Uh, back-to-back -back tries on either side of the half from Livesey as uh, Schofield now lines up this one and it's just to the this is like the Bermuda Triangle this because nobody Cumbria couldn't dink it from this side and this is slightly more difficult than the last two attempts from Cumbria similar to the first one that uh, they shanked to the right of the H's but can Schofield put it over and show the uh, Cumbrian kickers how it's done lining it up I find it's a Lachlan rather than Schofield, Steve. I don't know where you're getting Schofield from. I don't Schofield know where I've got from. Schofield, Schofield from. Schofield on this. No, I've been watching too much, I've been watching too much Good Morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lachlan. Oh, Lachlan's making it a good afternoon. For a <laughs> oh, very good, yeah. Yeah, very good, yeah. Uh, yeah, apologies. One of them, one of them moments you'll uh, be critical of, but there you go. It just shows we don't read off a script. <laughs> 28 points to 12. He was asking about a Bermuda Triangle, I think he's just uncovered, he's found the map now. He certainly has, he, he took it well didn't he, and uh, Lancashire, a lot of them in total control, but uh, they're in command now aren't they Dave? It uh, certainly does look commanding. Let's see if they can complete this set. Cumbria need to win this ball back and yeah. get some field position don't they? They do. So Lancashire then bringing it back and that's in the shape of not Schofield or Auckland. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I always remember from my mistakes. Ball goes left, cash in, and it's uh, down that far side. And uh, snappy, snappy play from uh, Lancashire. Cash in again, drives forward, rolls into three, including Aaron Turnbull. Just short of uh, the halfway line. 
little bit more expansive. I think that's Graney driving down the middle there. I'm saying I think because the numbers are uh, covered with mud. Oh, Lachlan gets that ball out to Cashin. Cashin down there. There's numbers here. Livesey joins the line again. He loses the ball. Referee says it went backwards. That's a brilliant offload. A brilliant play. This and it's out now there to Ellis. Ellis puts a left crossfield kick in. It's bouncing towards the try line. It's taken by Cumbria's uh, Zach Steele, but uh, a kick's as only good as it's chasing as well as uh, Steele did getting that ball. Lancashire pushed him back in. It's uh, a drop out from Cumbria and it's going to be more pressure on that Cumbria defence Dave Steel by name Steel by nature he could have uh, gone all to pot Cumbria it was brave though wasn't it he was very very brave he had to to really keep his wits about him it was a, an excellent kick to be honest from Alex and I really like the variation that Lancashire were coming up with in that last set some of the handling given these conditions exceptional so we don't have any shot clock in the amateur game but it's a good it's a good drop out it's a Stands just inside the Lancashire half, but it's a, a drive forward there uh, by them. Big derby. By derby, uh, leading by example. And it's uh, Cashin and Atkin half back. The ball goes left in. That's, that's that grainy again. Drives it's it a busy forward, forward Connor. He's, he's, busy made, forward he's made his mark since he's come on, Definitely, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, Cashin again. Played for the last couple of months in uh, Leeds first team as well. Beautiful inside ball, that in again, it lives, he's in for that. Oh, he's tackled he himself locked? there. Devon Locke in Rugby League exists. I thought he was in for his hat trick oh, then, Dave, and then the intercept. Unbelievable. Devon Locke in Rugby League, Dave, 1952. Nobody will understand that one either, but... Uh, I'm looking at you quite quizzically here, Steve. You're showing your age. I know, What's going on? It was a phantom dive, wasn't it, though, Dave? Let's be right. Oh, I've got it, got it. It was almost like somebody shot him from the sideline. It was like a sniper got him. Yeah. It? Down he went. Um, it looked every inch like it was going to be a hat trick try. Unfortunately for Cumbria, they've now coughed up possession. Uh, and this is just inviting Lancashire back at them, isn't it? Well, it is. They're in a great position. Lancashire's about, what, 15, 20 metres away to the left, of, just to the left of the H's. And uh, the backs have been superb. Uh, so far, can they continue with this quick running rugby? As the ball goes out to Story. Story's wrapped up. James Ennis is involved in the tackle. I think there's more pages left to this story, Steve. There is. There is. And another drive forward there. I think that's Derby. Who goes down about, what, five metres away. Centre field. They can sniff that try line. And the ball goes to uh, Ole Auckland. Who was the, scored the opening try for Lancashire. After they'd gone 4-0 down early doors in the game. Oh, there's... Oh, beautiful, round the corner ball. I've no idea who scored it, Dave. But what a cracking. Hang on. Oh, it's not been given. Oh, has it been it given? Again, there's a bit of fisty cuffs in the background. Well, this is what we want, even though we don't condone it, Dave. But it just shows how much this game means to both squads. Uh, well, I'm not sure whether the try has actually been awarded yet, by the way. Right. I've not added it yet. <laughs> so let's see. It looked like a classic around the corner pass, but then he blew, didn't he? Let's see what our match officials have. He's holding up the uh, the clock, which they're using. Obviously, from our point of view, we all, we, we'll carry on. And when you start scratching your head when the eight, 80 minutes have gone, it's because we don't uh, use the stop clock. But uh, Cumbria bit players being beckoned over. Yeah, Jack Kelly has been brought over from a Cumbrian persuasion. So I'm guessing could this because it's both skippers because um, that looks like uh, well Derby's in attendance yeah the big lad yeah yeah this and try it. does look like it's going to be awarded referee's taking his position and he's he's give it so we'll just say what a classic round the corner pass oh, but but we've no idea who scored it but I feel like it may have been Livesey you know just sweeping round to that left hand side right. We'll get some clarification on that post-match. Yes. Or otherwise, I'm going to have a real good run to that. Uh, You've no runner this week. No, my runner. My runner's let me down just when I wanted him. Uh, but you had a runner last week. had a runner last week. He did a fantastic job. I'd like, I'm hoping that he gave the right names. Uh, or he got the right names off some, off the guy that he was uh, going to. But uh, with no runners, we're, we're, in, we're in Lancashire. We can't afford him, Dave. Or Lachlan with another conversion attempt from out wide. So make it 34 points to 12 on it, so... That's a commanding lead. Uh, to be honest, 32-12 looks commanding at yeah. this sort of stage, doesn't it? 
given conditions. Well, you've got to give credit where you. I mean, like if she's backs and defence have been good and Cubry's forwards have been great but they've not been able to put the platform for the backs as much as uh, of what Lancashire has yeah. what a cracking yeah. kick from uh, out wide of the touchline there so uh, oh Lachlan puts it over again it's a cracking kick and that makes it 34 points to 12 a long, long, long way back from Cumbria point of view. They've got to keep their heads up and uh, still dream about getting back into this game and uh, making a contest of it. But uh, you've got to give credit to uh, the holders of this championship are sending a message out to Yorkshire. We want to keep hold of it. As uh, Lancashire get that ball back and drive it forward. And I've got to say that uh, Charlie Emsley has uh, had a cracking game for Cumbria. He's made a few mistakes, but uh, he's never stopped getting in the tackles and driving forward. Ball goes left, and it's uh, Coleman again. Passes it out as it goes down that left-hand side. I think that's lives his joined the line again. Brilliant handling by the hosts. They're doing well to stay on the field of play as well. Yeah, they are. They are. Uh, but uh, no only one way and it's the way that they're playing it's, is that to Charlie McCurry that day? it is yeah son of Steve McCurry alright oh, right. Uh, right. recognise the name played for Widnes and Warrington and Lee in Super League holding oh, on again here foul pass oh. just well they were nearly in weren't they? <laughs> well they created the magic trick there they did but it was uh, wiped off with a bit of a uh, Evil eyes or eagle eyes from uh, the match official and uh, definitely not evil eyes. Steve. That's why I said eagle. I said eagle, eagle. eagle. I didn't say just say evil then. I heard evil. <laughs> just say evil. <laughs> well, I just wish to disassociate myself from this. <laughs> <laughs> I do, Jack. He's not missed. I'll tell you what, though, he's not missed anything as either referee. No, he's had a great game. I'm probably putting the kiss of death on him now, but yeah, he's let it run and. Uh, He's been quick and concise with the decisions as well, hasn't he, Dave? That was quite sneaky from Bickerdyke, tried to wrap his arm in the tackle. He wasn't, there's me complimenting the officials. Well, referee was a calling player, so he's done well. Though. True. Here come Cumbria, down the left-hand side, short pass into Evan Jones. It's released the winger temporarily, Fleming, he's hacked it forward. It's going to bounce, it's going to bobble, is anybody after that? And they'll go dead. Well, I could see the idea, Dave, but perhaps the, a kicking feel. I mean, it's a split-second decision, and he went for it, the kicking chase. Perhaps if he puts the cross-field ball, you know, he would have had a better chance, like sort of thing. But it's uh, Lancashire who get a uh, seven uh, a, a seven tackle set. Gives another opportunity for Livesey to add to his carries. He's done an immense amount of work this afternoon. Well, he's, whatever he's done, he's done well, hasn't it? But again, both in attack and he's timed his runs into the defence impeccably. And it's interesting to note as well that both he and the Cumbrian fullback, Bickerdyke, were both in the same Community Lions team where Livesey was actually at the back as Lancashire breaking down the left hand side. Oh, what, what a brilliant ankle tap by Babby. Well, that's two tries. He saved their day because they've knocked on there and uh, on both occasions they looked as if it were going to be a four pointer. But uh, what a cracking. Uh, Tap of ankle tap. Yeah, he saved two and scored one. Yes. You can't ask for more from a win point of view, can you really? No, he's he's been he's been superb. Especially in an afternoon like today where it's not really made for outside backs. No, no, but uh going to get scrum head and feed now then uh, can uh, can Cumbria build on it and uh, come down the other end uh, as such. Another drive forward uh, by Evan Jones. But he's wrapped up there by uh, his opposite number, Reece Story, and a teammate coming down this left-hand side. That looked like a forward pass, but the referee's happy, and uh, Becky Dart was looking for the offload, but keeps hold of it. As uh, Shane Sanderson and acting half back, ball goes right there to Ennis, ball going down that line again to Turnbull. And it's uh, Sanderson again, ball goes right to Emsley, Emsley drives forward, runs into uh, O'Loughlin, two of his teammates including uh, Cassie drive forward this time from uh, Jack Stevenson Arrow Lachlan's here again last tackle inside this Lancashire half Sanderson 
little grubber and uh, good well good professional play by Lancashire they didn't panic didn't risk knocking on didn't uh, Sean Finlow and they're going to get scrum head and feet looking at what the twin the Lancashire 20 metre line uh, Dave yeah I think Cumbria will be quite happy to be fair as well with the way that they move downfield in that set um, they've got the ball over the touch line as well which uh, always helps when you're behind on the scoreboard to a certain extent it just slows things down doesn't it although really should they be looking at speeding things up yeah you're probably right there and in that play we've been talking about Emsley and he's down at the moment um, it's uh, strapping it's some strapping it, uh, ankle up or something there eh? I don't think looking at him I don't think he's the kind of player and the fact that he's got the bandage round his head he ain't going to go off is he definitely not no uh, and there's some really good players in this uh, in this Cumbria ranks you mentioned there Elmsley we were talking to Conor Terrell before weren't we he yeah was, uh, signed for Barrow so as soon as his uh, amateur commitments are done in this series he's uh, joining Barrow uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how he develops as well to be fair and you've got to say fair, fair play to, to Barrow obviously Paul Carrera is head coach a former uh, by the Lions head coach he knows uh, about the amateur game uh, as well as anybody sort of thing and he realises what the aspiration is for players but it just shows you the fact that uh, Terrell wanted to play for his county and sort out his county commitments and even international amateur commitments before uh, starting out uh, with Barrow and uh, we wish we wish him well in the professional ranks uh, after his uh, commitments to uh, the Cumbria County side this season. I can't we say Lancashire haven't for numbers down this right hand side but the and they will bring it down this right hand side there's McCurry with a short run he's dragged three players out of the line there there's only two on this wing last, last tackle we will take it down this side little oh. pick over the top from Coleman Vicky Dyke comes for it confident take from him to be fair he Vicky. took he took that well it wasn't a bad chase and we're uh, we've mentioned Terrell and he's coming back into action uh, with fellow prop Aston Mossop um, I thought the opening 20 odd minutes when, when, when they were on that uh, they looked, they looked impressive and uh, now can they bolster them and uh, somehow get them back in this game another drive forward there's uh, three in the tackle on Cumbria and again it's uh, restory the uh, centre put a lot of work in in the tackling uh, sort of thing as Zach Steele makes a little run just approaching the own 40 metre line and this time it's Terrell as we talk he's just gone back on the, on the field last tackled still inside their own half that ball goes out it's a good spiralling bomb from Bickerdyke it bounces once twice it's picked up by Livesey he doesn't panic it's cool as a cucumber wasn't he Livesey then and he's still going he's looking for a gap and been impressive play like you said Dave another angled drive forward from Lancashire coming away from uh, the own half almost 20 minutes gone of this second half Lancashire still in command 34 points to 12 hope you're enjoying the coverage this afternoon by our league we've got another game coming up straight after when the open age penalties do battle yeah that should be a cracker and we've got a, another one tomorrow uh, when we've got the uh, game two of the 17s when uh, Lancashire entertain Cumbria in game two of the Ballet Three Counties Under 17 Championship Coleman's oh, coughed the ball up the kicking forward here in Lancashire but it's going to be brought back if you fancy going rather than watching it's at uh, Thatterweath Crusaders which for me is a home game Dave it'll probably take me 10 minutes to, to get there so I'll see you just before kick off I thought you was going to be there nice <laughs> and early Steve <laughs> Oh, that sort of cramp. afternoon couple of uh, instances of cramp starting to creep in amongst the Cumbrians it's a lot of season that <laughs> I know there's a grammatical term for that day but I weren't that clever at school iteration wasn't it something like that something like that yes. if you know let us know <laughs> we want to be educated <laughs> yes we do yes we do <laughs> Eat your heart out, Nigel Starmer Smith. <laughs> well, you've not missed anything apart from our uh, banter, and w banter and wit. Well, that's what we're calling it. Uh, Cumbria players all these days. <laughs> Again, I had to choose my words then, Dave, but uh, <laughs> clock three started and uh, Cumbria still inside their own half. Gallic gets that ball out there to uh, Zach Steele. And uh, 
again this tigerish Lancashire defence of Fulham across and stopped him in his tracks Turnbull steps off his left drives I thought he was still going he's battled made a good 10 metres there he's been so industrious hasn't he Turnbull and they've done yeah. well in a lot of facets of this game for me yeah they, they'll be uh, you'll be talking about taking positives from games and uh, they can certainly take positives from this as Emsley traps that one with his foot picks it up and does what he's done all game drive forward targeted the halfback as well smart play yeah Ennis gets that ball out to uh, number 10, Mossop. It wasn't Moss, yeah, it was Mossop. Uh, makes a few more metres on that right hand side then, and it's Kellett. Puts an angle grubber in, and it's a pitch up in goal. I'm second guessing that's Livesey. Definitely is. Tell you how well did he do? You look at the conditions on the foot. All his momentum was taken down the left hand side. He puts the full brakes on and heads off down the right. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Been really sparkly performance from the fullback in these blue pot conditions. Put it this way, I don't envy the second game taking place on this pitch as we can see quite a few uh, mud patches. Could be a sludge bath, couldn't it? Could be. Let's hope not. Lancashire still pushing out of their own half here. Alice at dummy half turns it to his left. Coleman runs across field. Oh, little mistake comes in from Heaton. It's a knock on. Well, it's a chance there, Turnbull. It was just unfortunate that that didn't bounce up for him to get that ball because he's nothing in front of him. But uh, Cumbria, then they're going to get the ball. They're going to get scrum out and feed. They were about 30 metres away, dead centre field, uh, with points a begging. I see so what Hawkins could come up with as it swept down the right hand side. Tackle comes in on steel. 10 metres away from that line, Steve. Yeah, he's milking a, trying to milk a pedal, the referee's not having it as the uh, Turnbull drives it forward. Oh, Has he done it for crossing? No, I'll have no, somebody on the mount. Ah, yeah, turn. yeah. Well, yeah, uh, again, this isn't something to learn off the coaches, this is something to learn off the television, isn't it? As uh, the uh, Lancashire, instead of having to defend, they've got that scrum because of the uh, Bridgewater Canal, the referee's decided we ain't having any floating balls going to Whistley. Yeah. With the first carry off this set. It's going to set boost down, but Whistley's posh, you dear. Depends on the point of view, Steve. Now there's a boost stone, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> so Lancashire's grain there, drives it forward there, uh, and it's uh, Coleman. Uh, even in these conditions, he's got dancing feet, hasn't he, Dave? I've got to be honest, though, I don't think he'll thank Grainy for the pass. <laughs> he didn't give him much room, did he? I know, I know. Good run down this uh, right hand side by Ryan Ellis. He's worked tirelessly, hasn't he, since going on the field? Yeah, yeah. And Ellis will turn it left. Coleman keeps it moving to Grainy. With the yards from Grainy. About 25, maybe 30 metres away from the line. Ball swept left. Kick comes in from Heaton. It's a hanging kick from the Hindley Jr. Oh, and it's spilled by Bicky Dyke. Is that man offside? He's saying, oh, he's going, he's give the knock on it, yeah? Yeah, he's just ruling a knock on. That's very good, the last one, Dave, because you actually named one of the Yorkshire Penalty clubs there in that uh, little ant, little uh, line there, Hanging Eaton, who were uh, playing in the uh, Parley Yorkshire Cup this afternoon, in the first round of it. Uh, look out for those results coming in. www.barla.org Right, I'll, I'll push it for you, Steve, don't worry. Well, you know. <laughs> mention it. There <laughs> <laughs> you like again. So we don't work as a team, do we? Ellis. <laughs> so Ellis <laughs> driving it forward, yeah. <laughs> a grainy. Sets himself for the drive. He's virtually under the post. Well, well I thought he's still that. going. They must score here, they must score. There's McCurry. Not a lot of subtlety there, but it results in four points, Steve. Well, this is what it's all about. I mean, it was a, a blustering run beforehand from that one, but McCurry, he got that, and there was no way that they weren't going to score there. And uh, again, it's uh, this juggernaut of a of a pack by uh, Lancashire, but they've had the opportunity to uh, get over. They've they managed to get over on umpteen occasions, and that was no different. And uh, Again, we've not had any points for a while, and it's been end-to-end -end stuff, but uh, 
if the game wasn't over before that try it certainly wasn't truly over now which makes it 38 points to 12 with the kick to come and uh having that we'll have in the first half when we've got heaton attempting the conversion again yeah we uh again it it's a kickable goal but it's all right for me saying it for me and i've not got the muddy boots on dave have i but, uh, when were you a goal kicker as well steve in a dark dark galaxy far far away as an ewok i might as well have been with our technique <laughs> well, walking about technique that's a good technique he's 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 found my car in the car park there <laughs> Yeah. Two points added for Lancashire, who now lead by 40 points to 12. Yeah, 40 points to 12, and uh, you've got to compliment uh, the way and the style of play that Lancashire have uh, decided in, in both halves, and it's a commitment uh, and a big rap for the coaches. They've got the game plan, and obviously from a Lancashire point of view, the game plan at the beginning didn't go right as they were four points behind, but uh, it's certainly gone right so far, and at the moment they've kept Cumbria uh, pointless in this second half how good is that a run from Kieran Taylor it was all cross field but he's found a bit of space for Eaton I mean the cross field run like that's good if you're looking for a pass and you've got runners and he had a runner didn't he he did Lancashire right, pushing forward again there's the last try scorer McCurry we've got uh, the open age squads practicing behind the line here as Ellis makes the break great run from Ryan Ellis full back to beat Oh, and a great chase back from uh, Jack Stevenson in the clinging mud of Lee Miners Rangers here at Twist Lane. Coleman. Is that that man lives here again? It certainly is. Well, they're anxious for more points of the hosts. Coleman gets it. Is that that man Grainy? It is. He's been very busy since going on the He's field. going. He's still, he's still going. going. Offloads. And then in again, I think that's uh, Charlie McCurry who's got in there. Yeah, quick at the double for McCurry, isn't it? Scored just a, a couple of moments ago. Uh, and that was really good play from the front row. Um, a fantastic break from Ryan Ellis, just about dealt with by uh, Jack Stevenson and Vicar Dyke. But off the back of it, Lancashire just continuing to roll forward. And it ends up with Charlie McCurry scoring his second try to make it 44 points to 12 with a kick to come. And uh, the fact that you know the fact that the players, the team, the quick play, the ball, the support play, and just when Cumbria thought that they'd, they'd got the cover tackles in, that they'd done the business and sorted it out, you get that pass out to, to McCurry, who gets the offload. He saw the gap, an angle run, and went, and went in for it, good style. And it's uh, waiting for the kick to come. There's a I'm sure that it's a Lancashire or a Cumbria player who's uh, getting some treatment for uh, for cramp. But uh, referees allowing play, and it is one of the Lancashire players. Uh, I'd like to sign who it is. I'm guessing it's Coleman, but I'm not sure, Dave, as we wait for the uh, kick conversion attempt. And uh, Reece Story put the last one up. I'm second guessing he's having another go from the other side. He hits it. He kicks it. And that makes it 46 points to 12. And uh, what this does also help, and it does mean, is that. Uh, points difference could be crucial going into game three dependent on the uh, result next weekend up at Millham when uh, Yorkshire take their 19s and uh, open aid squad up there to uh, see if they can uh, get a result there and set up game three so uh, Lancashire get that ball back and uh, Directions are being made there by uh, Ellis, who's uh, been everywhere. He's taking up the hooking position at the moment. He's glancing to his left again. As Ellis got that ball, though the drive forward, Coleman down that left-hand side, and uh, I think that's uh, Lindsay again. Joins us in times. He's run brilliantly, and all of a sudden they're in Cumbria half, and there's plenty of tackles to go. Lancashire's going to try and get the 50. But, uh, and that's it, far side. Ball goes right. Grainy shows it, passes it, goes himself. He stopped in his tracks as uh, Jacob Johnson's uh, come back on. Last tackle. Down the short side again. Good off. Oh, brilliant hands. Soft hands on that far side. He, 
He's in. What a cracking try by the winger. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that it's uh, Ben Harper, but I'm not 100% there. But brilliant handling to bring the 50 up. Great handling down that left-hand side again. But lie in these conditions, it is a really di a difficult day for handling. And Lancashire at times have been absolutely superb. Uh, scoring in that top corner to bring up the 50, like you said, Steve, and it's a commanding victory in the end. They've been very, very good, haven't they? Uh, they've now got a uh, points difference of 40 with this uh, kick to come. And the fact that, you know, the conditions, you, you just can't appreciate the conditions that we've got here uh, at the moment. Uh, the rain's got worse as the uh, game's gone on. Uh, the wonderful weather forecaster said it was going to throw it down today and they weren't wrong just as the game started with the day they definitely weren't uh, but yeah I mean it's been a, a real good performance this from, from Lancashire in the wet let's see if this man can have another goal I'm second guessing this is our man uh, Reece Story again I know it's not all Auckland anyway uh, on his doppelganger Schofield is he not heating? Because he's kicked several goals this afternoon. Yeah. He's taking his time. He's got the power, he's got the height. On that occasion, Dave, not the direction, but the bottom line is that uh, the 50's up uh, from that superb try, that superb running and handling try by the. Uh, Lancashire under 19s and one thing's for sure they've put out a statement of intent this afternoon here at uh, Twist Lane the home of Lee Miners Rangers to say it's our title and we want to keep it Terry was just showing us his own version of weatherproofing. <laughs> it's a nice saying to his bag for life that he's got over his computer anyway. Well, all right. <laughs> the Lancashire fancy more points. But albeit, Dave, the score is what it is, it, 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 it doesn't belie the performance that uh, Cumbria put on this afternoon or this, throw, yeah, this dinner time, does it? I think certainly, certainly can, they can be very proud of the first half performance, the second half they've been steamrolling yeah. as far as as far as far things like field position have been concerned. They've not really asked that many questions second half, have they? No, no. But well, again, you've got to give credit to, uh, to the horse, haven't you? you know, they've been been technical both in attack and in defence there's Heaton that's one hell of a bomb that spiralling bomb Vicky Dyke got nowhere near it there he takes over it's a good chase so you've got to give I mean a kick's only as good as a chase and uh, Coleman was up, was up there with uh, Reece Story and uh, 17 uh, Charlie McCurry who as we say he's on a hat trick oh that's All a great tackle. brilliant tackle <laughs> referee Head and feed, and uh, this could lead to danger, danger from the uh, Lancashire point of view here. And Coleman's managed to guide that player right in that big patch of mud. <laughs> I think he was aiming at that. Well, yeah. He's got up full of it. <laughs> <laughs> Brushing it out of his eyes. Yeah, it's... Uh, no oh, chance what? of recognising who that winger is now who's dropped it. We've not. We're, it's just one of those days, isn't it? And uh, hopefully... Uh, Oh, nice yeah, stepping for fine log. Hopefully our watchers will have a better picture than we've got and they'll be aware of who's got the ball and when we've not. As Lancashire attack down that to far side now going, slaves it, drives, it's and spins. The three involved in the tackle involved, pleading Terrell who drops him, the ball's come, oh it's going to be a penalty. Yeah. That's the last thing you need in your Cumbria. Definitely. Oh, oh I wanted to get on with this quickly Lancashire but the referee's actually simbering the player here. Uh, and is it our man Terrell? It's our man Terrell, thanks. Thanks, Connor. We were trying. Big you up and you've let us down, mate. <laughs> well, he's not going to be able to get away with saying stuff. I thought, that was, I thought that was harsh, really. There's not long left, Dave, eh, but a fair play, though. The referee's playing it. Always played it all the game, hasn't it? Isn't and he's it? also got to wait until he's off the field of play as well. Yeah. So the referee's watching him like a hawk. 
Shots have taken. Chance here for Lancashire. Heaton. Ball wide. Fine low. They're in at this right hand corner. And it's Reece Story who's uh, put some cracky tackles in, and that brings up the uh, 56 points there. Well, I wondered it? whether or not we'd have uh, another page to the story, and he gets his second oh. try. Oh, oh dear. Yes, well, uh, yeah, that could be the end of his chapter, couldn't it? Oh, Terry's just shaking his head. That's the best I could come out with an equaliser, but uh, it was brilliant, brilliant handling well, at the I've bottom. Used plenty of words this afternoon, so it could be a case of opening the page of the thesaurus. Is that 54? Um, 54 points to 12 points. Yep. So that's 54 points to 12, and uh, this is going to be another difficult. Uh, this is uh, another difficult one from this uh, far side, and it's that man Joe Eaton again. So he's lining this one up. Can he turn this four uh, into a, a sixer? Uh, so wide is a difficult hit uh, in any conditions, but in the uh, weather that we've uh, experiencing at the moment. So he lines it up, Heaton. It's, well, it's going towards them. It's a magnificent kick it's by kicker. Heaton. He's a good kicker, isn't he? I just want to give that some leather. That's an understatement. Uh, a cracking kick, and uh, it increases the uh, points different lead that uh, the hosts have over the visitors, which will uh, stand them well going into... Uh, Game three, which will be played on Sunday the seventh. No, it's not the wrong one. It will be played uh, in a couple of weeks' time. The game that matters in game three when uh, Lancashire go to Yorkshire. Game B, it's going to be played at Featherstone Rovers. Oh, there was McCurry almost getting away. That's in the 17s, isn't it? It's the 17s we've played at. It is. It's been played at you with a big part. It's been played at you as well. It's a penalty for a ball steal. I think hypothermia is setting, Steve. It's nearly setting an ear, mate. I don't know about you. Uh, you do put an eater on, I know that. It's not as bad as Cumbria last week. Yeah, though, is it yet, Terry? Nowhere near. <laughs> Here comes McCurry. He was going to get waxed, and then the player missed him. Well, there's going to be teammates there, encouraging a few more wax. Back to old Lockwood. Not Schofield. No, 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 I know where it is now, dear. Up to that 30 metre line. Lancashire asking the questions again. Oh, that's an outstanding run forward by Sam Ayres. He's been good this afternoon. In fact, they all have, haven't they? Yeah, they've been all oh, around the corner. That was a beautiful, nearly around the corner pass again there. And uh, I believe I have cursed him. That's the commentator's curse coming to fruition. So it's your fault. So yeah. he... I'll accept that one, lads. Not at all. <laughs> but uh, they've just tried to keep, keep it. Now, literally try keeping the ball alive, haven't they? Especially when they're sitting out there and. And, and gone for it, so to speak. Just a few seconds left. I don't think there's been that many stoppages either, has there, in this game? No, I mean, it, I think even for the cramp, it wasn't stopped all that long, you know. They, and they, you know they, got up, they got up and got on with it. There's uh, Cumbria still going forward. Nice little offload to Johnson. Oh, and a nice ankle tap there from it. That's that man Coleman. And the uh, Cumbria 40 metre line. Uh, back at Johnson. Back to the back. It's that ball right there. there and it's a Turnbull. Drive forward by Turnbull. And what a workhorse he's been. Uh, he's had a great game, to be honest, for Cumbria. Put the hard yards in, hasn't he? Ooh, oh, it's a bit juggling. of a uh, juggling. Will Ennis taking it in at the second time asking? And he makes a few more metres of the uh, reverse, he does an itsy spin. Oh, 
last tackle coming up and uh, can Cumbria do something with this it's a long time since they've been this out down this end of the pitch little crossfield chip and now it's a hack on is that, is that, that, that man back is he in? it's not oh. unfortunately not did everything but score it's a cracking effort wasn't it you know yes, it a, an inventive crossfield kick as well instead of a, a boring kick so closing stages of this game Lancashire have this one so much Yorkshire sitting back watching surveying all before them they will um, I was under the impression there'd be somebody coming over for York, from Yorkshire on a spying mission I've not seen anybody from Yorkshire yet and the whistle goes at the end of this uh, opening game Dave and uh, Lancashire has sent out a message we want to keep the title you've got to say from a Cumbria point of view they did the best they never let their heads drop but in the second half apart from scoring them tries Lancashire's uh, coaching staff will be more than pleased the fact that they've kept them pointless in this second half yeah comprehensive second half performance in a lot of ways Steve 22 points to 12 at half time and they advance that out to 56 points to 12 uh, we'll go and get some team sheets and join you for game number two. Okay. <laughs>